Hi everyone, welcome to my class. In today's class, we want to look at how to solve these indices. 243 raised to power n over 5 times 3 raised to power 2n plus 1 all over 9 raised to power n times 3 raised to power n minus 1. So we want to look at how to solve this question in an easiest way. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Please subscribe to this channel so that you can be notified whenever I post new video on mathematics and statistics solution. The question says 243 raised to power n over 5 multiplied by 3 raised to power 2n plus 1 all over 9 raised to power n multiplied by 3 raised to power n minus 1. Then 2 raised 243 can be expressed as 3 raised to power 5 into this n, n over 5, then multiply by 3 raised to power 2n plus 1 over, we have 9 raised to power n can be expressed as 3 raised to power 2 into n multiplied by 3 raised to power n minus 1 because 3 raised to power 2 is 3 square which is equal to 9 3 times 3 is 9 then 3 raised to power 5 is 3 in 5 places if you multiply it together if you multiply them together you are going to get 243 now let's move to the next step this can be expressed as this implies that we have let's open this bracket 3 raised to power 5 times n 5n over 5, then multiply by 3 raised to power 2n plus 1 over, then we have, let's open this bracket, 2 times n, that is 3 raised to power 2n, multiply by 3 raised to power n minus 1. Five. Then from here, this five can cancel this five. Then, since this five can cancel this five, we are left with this implied that we have three raised to power n multiplied by three raised to power two n plus one over three raised to power two n multiplied by three raised to power n minus 1. This can be write as 3 raised to power n, but when you multiply, you can add up the power plus 2n plus 1, since they are having the same base over here is 3 raised to power 2n, then the same thing plus this is n minus 1. Can you see? We have 3 raised to power n multiplied by 3 raised to power 2n plus 1. But they are having the same power, the same bigs. We have 3 raised to power n. Then, because of multiplication, then we have the addition. According to the law of this, this is then 2n plus 1. The same thing, apply it to the denominator. We have 2 raised to power n plus this n minus 1. Now, this can be expressed as n plus 2n. 3n. We have 3 raised to the power 3n plus 1 over this 2n plus n is the same thing as 3n. 3 raised to the power 3n minus 1. Now, let's perform another expression here. This is equal to 3 raised to the power 3n plus 1 then minus into here is 3n minus 1. Then from here now, let's open let's open this bracket. We have this can be write as 3 raised to the power 3n plus 1. This 3n plus 1. Then minus multiply by 3n. We have minus 3n. Minus times minus is become plus plus 1. Then here, this is plus 3n minus 3n. This one we cancel digs. Then we are left with plus 1 
and plus one then our final answer is going to be you know here we have three raised to power 3n plus 1 minus 3n plus 1 and this 3n we cancel this 3n that is plus 3n minus 3n is equal to what zero it will cancel then we have one plus one so which is equal to these two then we are left with three raised to power two then our final answer is going to be what three raised to power two is three the same thing as three times three let's say from here we have three squared the same thing as three times three which is equal to nine our final answer is going to be three raised to power two which is equal to what nine I hope you understand it. So, this is the final answer. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more new videos on mathematics and statistics. Thank you.